Welcome back to Wellfest 2020. My name's Julie and I'm going to read a bedtime story tonight called Woolly Stops the Train. This is Apple Tree Farm. This is Mrs Boot, the farmer. She has two children called Poppy and Sam and a dog called Rusty. This is Ted. He drives a tractor and helps Mrs Boot on the farm. He waves and shouts to Mrs Boot. What's the matter, Ted? asked Mrs Boot. The train is in trouble. I think it's stuck. I can hear a whistling and whistling, says Ted. We'll go and look. Poppy and Sam can come too, Mrs Boot said. And Rusty, says Sam. They walk across the fields. Soon they come to the train track. They can just see the old steam train. It has stopped. But it's still puffing and whistling. Look at those sheep. They are on the track, says Poppy. That's why the train has stopped. Silly sheep, says Sam. It's that naughty woolly. She's escaped from her field again, says Poppy. She wanted to see the steam train, says Sam. We must move on. You can help me, says Mrs Boot. Come on, Rusty. They walk up to the sheep. How can we get them to go home? We can't get them up the bank, says Ted. We'll put them on the train, says Mrs Boot. Come on, Woolly. They drive the sheep down the track to the train. Woolly runs away, but Rusty soon chases her back. We'll lift them up. Please help me, Ted, says Mrs Boot. Ted and Mrs Boot lift the sheep up onto the carriage. All aboard! Poppy Sam, Mrs Boot, Ted and Rusty climb up into the carriage. Mrs Boot waves to the driver. The train puffs along. It stopped at the station. Mrs Boot opens the door. Poppy and Sam jump down onto the platform. How many passengers, says the guard? Six sheep, one dog, four people, says Mrs Boot. That's all. Let's all go home now, says Mrs Boot. They'll take the sheep back to the farm. I think Wally just wanted a ride on the train, says Sam. That's the end of the bedtime stories from Wellfest 2020. Good night.